Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today it's about zen.com slash en slash community slash pdt. This is the editor we would use for our whole video series. But if you have a Tana Studio, it's okay too. But we'll use this. And if you want to use this, it's good. But if you have a Tana Studio, you can leave everything and forget this video. So, um, this is an Eclipse editor. It's you can edit it with it uh, HTML and PHP files. And if you go to the site, um, you have here download Eclipse PDT all in one. And then here you have multiple downloads. So, so, so. And then we go on to uh, what we want. We want the Linux one. Come on. Uh, and this could take a while. Basically, we download the files that now open as the archive manager or the zip manager in Windows. So let me see if it's a zip in Windows. Yes, it's a zip in Windows. So what we can do on every operating system except um, except Mac is to um, open it in, in our archive manager. It can win RAR, it can win zip, it can be the explorer zipping thing. So just unzip it where you want it to be. So let's say I want it directly in here. I'll unzip it. It's unzipping everything. Oh my god. Next thing, what we want to do before we start Eclipse is we're going into our terminal and start our previous setup XAMPP or better, LAMP. So we're going to run opt LAMP LAMP start. Okay, so we have to run a sudo and then we have to enter our password and it's starting LAMP. Now everything is started, and uh, well, what we then need to do is to go into our file manager, go into Eclipse, and then we have here Eclipse, and we right click on it and say uh, create shortcut and drag this to the desktop. So I drag to the desktop, and then I'll just re rename it. So I go to properties, rename it in Eclipse PDT, and um, as symbol, there is a symbol, right? So let's further uh, search for a symbol. It's there, and now we can close this up, and now we can start it. So now Eclipse starts. This could take a while too. Now it asks us about the workspace. So in Linux, you say, you tell it, slash opt slash lamp slash htdocs. And then go to the browse thing to check it. So let's see. Yes, this is right. Everything is here. So this path is right for for Linux. In the Windows, you uh, just uh, do this. You run C, and then you make this. Um, if I can't make this, ah, there we go. Um, then you make this backslash, and you say xamplite another backslash htdocs so but I'm in Linux so I use opt lamp htdocs and now uh, click use this as the default and do not ask again and click on ok come on ok <laughs> it takes a while I think to rearrange itself come on so there we go. 
in Linux it has a little bug with the mouse, but just um, press enter. Well, now close the welcome thing, and here we have it. What we then have to do is we have to maximize the window. Drag this a little bit more outside. Then we can make a new product by clicking on this. And we're searching for PHP. Expand it and we say PHP project. Next. Press enter. We point to next and press enter. And the project name will be um, HTML course. Because before we start with PHP, we have to know HTML. And everything fine, everything fine. And we click on finish. And there we go. And this is it basically. So now we right click on this, click on new PHP file. Oh no, we click on HTML page because it's just the HTML course. And now a file and we write in index.html and press finish. So now we have a basic um, HTML file, but we'll learn more about that. So to test out um, if this works, is you see this buddy section here? Just write in hi, save the file, and then just go into your web browser and um, make a new tab. Then run localhost slash HTML course, and as you can see, there's hi, and it works. So this is the way how we do it with Eclipse. So that was for me. Thanks for watching.